Today, I'm going to show you how to change a drive letter in Windows in just a few easy steps. So we'll click Start, Settings, and click on Control Panel. And when Control Panel opens, we'll double click on Administrative Tools and double click again on Computer Management. When that opens, I'll bring this down so you can see it. We'll click over here on the left side on Disk Management. Now it's scanning to find any drives connected to the computer. And you can see here's drive C. And drive C can't be changed to another letter. Here's my Blackberry drive D. If we go down here, we can scroll down and we can see that our CD-ROM drive is currently drive E. Now you should never try to change the drive letter on any drive where you've installed a lot of programs. Because when a program is installed, its location and other factors are written into the registry. So, for example, if you had a lot of programs on drive D and you changed the drive letter to drive E, the computer wouldn't be able to find any of those programs. But in renaming a CD-ROM drive or other drives, it can be very useful. So, we'll simply click on the CD-ROM drive, right-click, select Change Drive Letters and Pass. See, it shows that it's currently drive E. We'll click Change go here, it gives us the whole alphabet, and we'll just pick drive H, we'll click OK, and here it pops up a warning basically telling you what I've already told you, that changing a drive letter might cause programs to no longer run, so I'm good with that. We'll click Yes, you can see our DVD is now drive H instead of drive E. We just close out of that, close out of control panel, and we're done. And that's all there is to it.